What's up drivers, what's up riders? Today, we're on a mission for two things. One, obviously to make some money, and two, to see if I can find a place to shoot this guy. I need to find a cool environment around town. Of course, you guys know the drill, we're gonna be doing some multi-apping. But if by chance this is your first time watching this channel, I urge you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and like this video. Do it now, the video's about to start. What's up drivers, what's up riders? We are back for an action-packed episode of whatever this is. <laughs> I, have a, I have a mission today. Two things. For one, obviously make some money. And two, I need to find a location so I can uh, take some pictures for this guy. I need some outside background scenery. So well, normally when I do my art, I like to shoot a outside environment to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. If you don't know who this guy is, you need to go watch He-Man. And this is acrylic paint painted directly on glass. And if you guys are interested in seeing more of my art like this, here are my social media connections where you can follow me and connect with me. But aside from that, we got my first order today. This is my first time doing a double batch. I normally only do single batch pickups. This one was only seven items, so I said, you know, why not? Let me just go ahead and give it a shot. And the distance between the two homes was reasonable. Uh, it was $26 to pick up seven items. I thought that was really good to do. And the miles was six miles, so I think I got a win-win on that one. So let's go ahead and get this rolling. Another thing too, I have not been driving for, I've been off for the past maybe five days. And I say off, that means I just haven't been driving. I've been at home doing a lot of stuff. I took some time, edited all the videos. That's why you guys probably saw so many back-to-back -back uploads that week. Who knows when this video will come out to even make that make sense. But I uh, edited all my videos, cleared my phone so I can actually have space to record new ones like this. Uh, got back into painting, which is one of my passions. So that was awesome. That's what I actually woke up today. Painted that guy. Now we gotta go find a place to shoot him. Um, so yeah, uh, very productive day. And also, while I was off, I got this done. Notice anything about my window? Yeah, I finally got that crack fix. It was driving me crazy just as much as I'm sure it was driving you guys crazy. Seeing that crack creep across my windshield, every video, it was getting longer and longer. I put off fixing it. My inspection sticker needs to be renewed in July, which is right now. So they're not gonna pass it with that uh, crack. So I said, you know what? I put it off long enough, let's go ahead and get it done. So I got that done also. This channel has gotten to a point to where it's pretty stable. So now I can start focusing on some of the things that I had to walk away from. You guys seem to like these uh, vlog, personal life video things, aside from me just driving around making money. So I thought it'd be fun today to take you along with me as I scout out a location to shoot for that new piece of artwork. And this guy just stops right in front of me. Donkey Kong Madness. We're on our way to Costco. I know Costco. <laughs> we had a big uh, rant about that in another video, but um, I'm gonna go pick it up. There was a subscriber that brought up a very valid point to the whole Costco thing. I know everybody had their own opinion on it. Uh, but this one, one, this was one that I kind of could see from what Costco was seeing. A lot of people were screenshotting the digital Instacart badge that comes up when customers place their order. I thought that digital badge that I see for Costco as well as Sam's because they're both membership um, membership uh, stores, that Instacart was generating a new one each time. That way you could cut down on what's happening. From what they said is people would screenshot that digital badge or digital card and then go in on their own time and shop Costco and then scan that digital code. So they were bypassing the need to get a membership because they were using the Instacart shoppers code. I was like, what the mess? That's not cool. <laughs> that's not cool at all. Maybe that's why they go through the stringent pat down, where's your badge, let me swab your nose situation. But uh, yeah, so if anybody's doing that, that's just making it a bad situation for all of us. Wow, 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 wow. And you know, shame on Instacart too. Like I thought they were generating a new sequence code for every batch that way if somebody tried that and they scanned it at the uh, register they'd be like this is an invalid membership and bam you busted you busted someone <laughs> walking away from my art for so long to um do this was very hard to do as i as i mentioned once before i do have a um a art channel uh it's up to 206 subscribers two years to get that and as I started making this channel and saw how fast it was growing, I was like, you know what? It'd be kind of crazy not to put my full attention into this channel, get it to where it can be another gig 
uh, and I can get paid out for it, which is what I have been doing thanks to you guys. The channel is monetized. And once it's stable, which I kind of feel like it is right now, I can then take my attention and divide it between the two and start building back up the art channel. It felt good to paint. It felt good to reconnect with some of my art buddies on Instagram again. And um, it just felt good. <laughs> my motto or my slogan coming into this year, uh, don't be afraid to take a few steps back to take a giant leap forward. And the way I see it is, you know how people are getting ready to like jump over a cliff or you know, a canyon, you know, jump over, you know, jump over a wide distance. They normally back up, take a couple of steps back and then go full force, get the momentum and then make that big leap. And that's kind of what it feels like now. I backed away from my art. I got the momentum going on this page and now things are in a good spot that I don't have to do this so much because I can have the YouTube gig pay for days that I take off and then I can put it back into my art. So it all kind of plays out. Sorry, this road is treacherous. <laughs> I'm shaking all over the place. So yeah, that comment helps me account for, I guess, wearing all the flair. Accounting for just needy to help the people in the store. Because the way I see it is, whether I'm a person who, who's walking in off the street or a customer at home who made the order and sent one of us in there to get it, we're still putting money in Costco's bank account so that we have a place to go shop and, you know, make some money. You guys get money so you guys actually can still be employed and the more money you get, bigger bonuses, bigger raises, bigger payouts, you know, that whole nine yards. You guys are getting paid to shop, so like, just go do your, just go do your job. But it's like, how is that, how would that be any different from, let's say I was the CEO of Evergreen Trees and I told Roger, Roger, the break room is low. I need you to go to Costco and fill it up. Go do it today. Cool. Roger gets in his car on company time, which means he's getting paid to go shop. And Roger comes in there and he's looking lost as fuck. He has his phone in his hand because all of his stuff is written down digitally. Will you go help Roger? He's getting paid to shop. Now I understand, like I said, I used to be in retail and I understand having people come up to you a thousand times a day ask you the same question. But the truth of the matter is that's what you're in there for. You're in there to help. I used to be a manager at a retail store. I understand BM Log, which is a business, business management log. Um, and from all that training, what they used to say is if a customer comes in, in this store and they leave empty handed, we're not making money. So if we go in there and we can fulfill the entire order, that's more money. More money for you, more money for us, more money for everybody. So I know sometimes I have to bite the bullet and just help people when I was annoyed. I had to help those people who I knew was ciphering my time and wanted me to like shop the whole thing. And then, you know, they want you like to hand hold them throughout the store. And you can tell, cause I've seen, and I've also seen some Instacart shoppers do that. So I, like I said, I can feel where a lot of these um, floor, I don't call them floor walkers, but you know, whatever, uh, are coming from. I've seen people like, oh, this is my first day. And I don't know where anything is. So like, well, you just walked in the door. Do you even like look around the store? <laughs> you know, cause me, I'll walk up and down the aisles until I have exhausted my possibilities. And then I'm like, okay, now let me go try to find somebody. But, um. And I just ask you, hey, can you point me in the general direction or tell me what aisle is on? Because for some strange reason, Costco don't have labeled aisles and you're kind of just aloof. But that's neither here nor there. We actually are pulling up on Costco. And that concludes the Costco rant fully, guys. I won't talk about it anymore. I'm probably lying, <laughs> but we'll see. Am I the only weirdo who likes to try to park in the same spot each time they come to the store? I think I might be. But to my floor walkers, I get it. Having the same people walk up to you every day and ask the same question a thousand times a day can wear you down. And as one person said, that you're coming in so often that they recognize your face and you're still asking questions about five items that you can't find, that means you're not shopping. Yeah, in that case, I'd feel some type of way too. But um, let's go off in here and get these items and we'll get today started. And it looks like a roadie popped up. And now that I can do roadie, I actually might be able to do that one. All right, so I just started my batch. Cool, so it has, I've seen this on other people's videos, but uh, I just never really paid much of attention because I said, I'm never gonna do a double batch. Like I said, this one's very small, should be really easy for me to manage. Please, God, please. Yeah, we'll see what happens, I'll be back. I had to switch up my mask game because my other ones are in the washer and I forgot to bring it with me. But luckily I always keep some more in my car. As you can see, we got these separated by two boxes so I can keep them apart. 
it's weird it's like a sense of panic in the store today like everybody's literally running over each other <laughs> always trips me out like when you're following somebody down the aisle you're like please don't stop in front of what i need please don't stop in front of what i need and they stop in front of what you need and then just <laughs> like Whoa. and also this when people leave their cart right in the middle of the aisle i mean that's my cart i was just doing it to prove a point not that i leave mine in the middle of the aisle <laughs> These labels turned upside. And yes, my mom made that mask too. Thank you, Madre. I was literally <laughs> running to the car, man. I've been in the house for the past four to five days, so I forgot how hot it was out here. First double batch order, not so bad. It kept me organized by showing me uh, which items are supposed to go with which. Even if they happen to mix it up, you can always go back on the item list and it'll show you what's supposed to go with order A, what's supposed to go with order B. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let's, uh, looks like we're gonna start with David. I'm hoping David was the person who had the frozen stuff. Yes, finally Instacart, you make sense. <laughs> you make sense. Let's go do this for David really, really quick live. Also too, I took my car for them to look at that brick situation as you guys maybe saw from my other video how he was squealing like a pig. So they said they still can replicate it but they went ahead and resurfaced the pads and did some adjustments or whatever. So we'll see by the end of this video if they start screaming at me again. Hopefully it's fixed because I don't want to keep taking it back for the same stuff. Like. Get with it. Red light, red light, red light. I don't know if it was a state of an emergency put out on um, food recently, because I don't watch a lot of news, but Costco was packed and people were running over each other like animals, man. And I guess I'm just not used to that because you know, everybody's been locked away. The stores normally aren't that packed and people aren't that ravenous, but uh, it was a struggle in there today. My God. So again, guys, when you get to your destination, they have the items right here. And it will take you right back to the item screen so you know which box or bag to grab. The destination is on the right. Alright, looks like we're live delivering to a pharmacy with that frozen stuff. So let's go uh, drop this off real quick. Alright, so David's order dropped off. We're gonna head to Rebecca Romaine Stamos now. Just kidding. I wish. You guys, look, it's the Target parking lot. You know, that Target parking lot where I picked up the corner shop supplies that I can't use right now. So annoying. So annoying. You know, how about a podcast? She remarried and was living in her best life. I'm not even entirely sure which state she might be in now. In half a mile, turn left onto Mount Vernon Drive. Arrived. Who wants to go battle Mystique? Okay, two orders down. First two orders for the day in the bag. I'm actually really happy I went ahead and took that double order. Um, when I was looking at it, one looks like it was going to be an apartment complex. It said, uh, one said unit C and the other one said building B. And I was like, ooh, don't know what that's about. But it looks like one of them was a business and one of them was a like stacked house. Like it has a house in the front and you gotta walk around to get to the house in the back. Um, whatever, as long as they were home, I was happy with that. So let's find somewhere to park, reassess the apps and see what else we're gonna get into today. Waited a little bit, uh, maybe about 10 minutes, and I saw an order in here for Instacart that was worth doing. It was eight items, 14 bucks at a Randall's. The Randall's is probably like 10 minutes away from where I was. I was gonna go to Popeye's and try to get some red beans and rice and a biscuit, but um, couldn't wait. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock this order out. Then I'm gonna get something to eat because I already know hunger and shopping for food is not a good mix. So I'm gonna have to take care of that. I'm looking, I'm looking. These areas are pretty desolate for what I wanna shoot this character with the funny thing is i've done this before i was like i'm gonna get in my car and go find a nice little spot to shoot the background for some of my art and end up just shooting a spot around my apartment complex anyway but you know i want to try to find something new you know so uh we'll see we'll see there's a few spots that i know for sure that i can hit they're just not close to me right now so i might do it this weekend but um we'll find out all right just arrived at randall's go ahead and get a uh, shelled up Gotta go ahead and go make quick work of this order. Looking at the hood of my car, it's so dirty. But I can't wash it because I just got the window done. You gotta like let it cure and set for a couple of days. So I'm actually gonna, they said three days. I'm just gonna wait till a week <laughs> just to make sure because um, I'm not taking no chances. I tell you what, it sure does suck not having my music. I should have went back in and got my headphones. <laughs> what was I thinking? Good, how are you? Yeah. 
you know, while I'm in here, I just might get myself something to eat. That would be the smart thing to do, right? Perfect. Just the sauce we need to get lit. Thanks to your guys' helpful comments, I learned my lesson about those synergy drinks, so um, drink responsibly when you're at home. Potty pooper. <sighs> Who keeps leaving their basket in the middle of the aisle? Me. I'm the crazy one. The one that complains about it. Kidding. I never do that. I promise. No one was in the aisle with me, so it doesn't count. Hang on tight, Mr. Pretzels. We're heading to checkout. <sighs> These catering bags. Probably only good thing that came out of my deliver that experience was getting these catering bags because I um, just haven't been able to do the order for them. Oh well. How many of y'all really put y'all carts back? Y'all just pop them up on a curb or something. I see y'all. I'll see you. Shame, shame, shame. Cart stashers. I can't say that I do it every time, but I do it most of the time. I used to work at a grocery store and my first job was collecting carts. Man, as you guys see how hot it is out here, running around a big complex, trying to get some carts is not the best thing to be doing. Let's see, start delivery. This person, how far are you away? Six minutes. I can dig it. Parking lots always trip me out. Like I know I park my car correctly in its little spot, but it seems like when I get back out to my car, all of the cars around me feel like they've been dropped from outer space, sideways. Everything is all like close and I'm just trying to figure out like what happened. We were all uniform when I went in. Why is everybody turned upside down now? Let's plug this in if I lose battery. In a quarter of a mile, the destination is on your right. Arrived. Easy order, easy handoff. Got it to the customer. I just saw another one, on, another Instacart order in here. It was $21. Looks like it is six items. Not that it matters because it is a pickup. So we're just gonna, it's a delivery only item. We're just gonna show up to the store, grab the bags, jump out the window, and make a hasty retreat. Not in that order. I can hear the comments already now. You the hate Costco, you sure do shop there a lot. Yeah, I mean, I got a job to do. I'm just hoping that all of us can do our jobs. You know, mine's the shop, yours is, hey, how can I help you? Keep the lights on in this store. Help me find a couple items and we can help each other out. How about that? How about that? Catch me outside. <laughs> Wanted to talk, I guess, about multi-apping and, um, what's it all about. I just want to make sure people understand that you don't have to multi-app. If the app that you favor, not the favor app, I'm just saying, God, not the favor app. If the app that you frequent is your favorite app and it's hot and popping, there's no need to just randomly turn it off just to see what another app can do for you. If that's your favorite app and it's making you money, then work that out. There's no need to jump from app to app. The reason why I say multi-apping is a good thing and maybe to have a backup app one or two i mean you don't have to have as many as i do but i'm you know doing so many apps for content for this channel just to show you guys what else is out there plus i just like flexibility but anyway we're not talking about me we're talking about you guys if the app that you frequent or favor or like so much is dead then try one of the other ones because it might be the one that'll carry you for the rest of the day. Morning seems to be where you get most of your grocery store orders. Turn on my grocery store apps and work those so I can't work them anymore. And then in the afternoon, turn on the restaurant app because most of the times the, uh, the restaurant apps have higher payouts for the dinner rush. That gold rush of Instacart, that's kind of gone. Sometimes I just gotta work Uber in the mornings and then in between, pick up what grocery store apps that look right, you know, that makes sense. Uh, but. Ideally, that's kind of how I like to work mine. Uh, you guys might have your own thing. I mean, if you only have Instacart, then that's all you can do. Multi-apping is an option, it's not a must, but I feel that you guys would save a lot of time and get a lot more done uh, if you had a few more apps to jump in and out of instead of just parking and waiting and praying that your main app sends you a text back and stop leaving you on red, you know what I mean? So, you want access to the Wicked Archives, do you? Well, it takes money to keep the lights on and keep our beasties fed. Trust me, you don't want them hungry. Visit our Patreon page. Aha! You're my favorite spot. This is where I like to park. <laughs> Man, it sure would be nice today if all the Instacart orders were pickups like this. So let's go ahead and uh, slide to go get the bags. And there is a designated spot in here. I actually seen it once before. And we're gonna go scan the bags for Greg. Huh? Looks like he only has two bags. Two bags, $21. Let's go get it. <laughs> 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Mm, 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 mm. Curious, guys, who is your favorite Ninja Turtle? Mine? Where is he at? Right there. Leonardo, all the way. Silly me. Let me get my flare out, because <laughs> they're going to be checking at the dough. We've got the items. One thing I want to show you, this receipt should be attached to the boxes. And this is what you're going to show. Anyway, I don't know what all that was about, but this is... She's worse than my GPS. This is what you're going to show the person at front so they'll let you out of the store and uh, verify your items. Golly, homegirl was on it, man. What are you gonna do with your car? I'm gonna take it where it goes. That's what I'm gonna do. I never park far. I never park far away from a corral. So Costco, even though we have our differences, I still look out for you. I still got you. You got me though? I don't know. <laughs> Pop them bad boys up on the curb over there. And not think twice, but uh. Whatever. Go ahead and drop this off as fast as we can. The faster we move, the faster we can get back into a queue to make more money. And that is the goal of the day, make more money. Actually, Costco got some pretty good scenery on this side over here. You see that little area over there? I think that has some pretty cool scenery for it. More than anything, I need to get these Mario coins, so um, that's above all else. But uh, if it happens, great. If not, there will be another day. Let's go take care of this. In all actuality, since he's kind of like this mystical wizard, I think a night shot might be better for him. We'll see, we'll see. Firefighters race to a dingy hotel on West 42nd Street near Times Square. As their truck pulled up to the curb, there was something else too. A smell that shouldn't have been there. Iron, so strong that one firefighter could taste it on his tongue. Iron mixed with decay. Needless to say, I was hella confused with that last order as to where to drop it off at. Uh, let me show you guys. Let me see if I can show you guys. All right, so this is what I'm dealing with. Room number, Destination Club. In the Destination Club. What's the Destination Club? Then it says, um, leave delivery at the door and make sure to send a picture. Oh, there was a phone number down there. I text him. Um, a picture and just let him know that it, I dropped it off at your house because unless your house is the destination club I don't know but I texted him a picture through his phone number that he left in the app and also sent a picture through the Instacart app because um, that's just really weird it almost sounded as though he was at an apartment complex like I don't know Greg please just clean up your notes buddy I don't know where I was supposed to drop this off at hopefully you get your food yeah, send him a picture through the text messaging, just saying I dropped it, dropped it off at your step. As for now, all I can do is mark this as delivered. So keep moving, see how much money we can make today. You guys know the plan. Close to $200, if not more. There's two things I gotta do first. Uh, I gotta get some food, because I didn't get any while I was in the Randall store, because uh, the only thing that looked good in there was that drink, and I cannot have that while I'm out here driving, now that I know what's in it and I gotta get some gas because my good old friend the gas alert just popped up so I'm um, gonna take care of that and we'll get back on the road you want to know 27 we'll say $30 fills up my tank so there there's a little insider trade for you guys for the ones of uh, you who wonder how much does it take to fill up my car $30 sometimes 25 just depends on how close I let it get to E or location sometimes the gas is cheaper in certain places so there you go. And we hope you go try the Get Upside app, where you'll never pay full price for gas again. Does it work? You betcha. To date, we've received close to $200 in cold hard PayPal cash. PayPal's not your jam? No problem. Let's flip to the B-side. Convert your points into gift cards or receive a check in the mail. Sign up with this on-screen promo code for more additional bonuses. Go on, start saving with Get Upside today. On average, I probably fill up my tank two times a week, maybe three depend on how smart I am <laughs> with the apps I'm running. If I'm doing more of the grocery apps where it's less traveling, then yeah, probably two times a week. On average, it's probably gonna be three. What that information does for you guys, I don't know, but there it is. But as I was driving, I do see there is a dispatch order in here. ASAP order needs to be done between 
352, 326, so it has to be done right away. It's only one item. The thought of doing that order was nice, but it doesn't really matter because somebody else already snatched it up. I was just on the fence about it because I couldn't really see exactly where the pickup was. I think the drop off was more or less like the stay, which is south, but um, the pickup just like it was, I was heading too far north. Oh well, if it's meant for you, it's meant for you. I guess that just wasn't meant for me. It was $25 to go 16 miles, so you guys think about that. As for the other apps, uh, Rody, nothing's going on in Rody right now. Point Pickup doesn't have anything either. So we'll give Instacart another minute or so to see if it resets with some better batches. Uh, nothing in Burpee either right now. Um, if that remains the case, We'll turn on Grubhub or Eats and make some more money that way. Right now it's 3.32. So I actually just picked up another order. Like I say, I am stocking. Stocking, stocking, however you say. I am creeping up on <laughs> Sam's and Costco. Those are my favorite places to shop right now. So this order was, I think, $21. 12 items, 12 units. Let's go get it done. Done, son. It's <laughs> more alcohol than I was hoping to spray out. Let me adjust that nozzle. <laughs> Ow. <sighs> it would have been nice to actually do that dispatch order. So for those of you who are new here uh, and haven't seen any dispatch, not like I don't have a video on it, but you know, to mix it into the day. So you can see how this whole multi and thing works. But who knows? The day is still young. We might be able to get into something else. But, but right now we're just pretty much rocking with Instacart. But let's go get this done. Remind me never to make that mistake again. Get your freaking headphones. They make shopping so much easier and a heck of a lot faster. Okay, so I slid to start my batch, and um, this is interesting. Batch has been modified, so I guess trying to keep us up to date with what's happening in case they add something or take something away. Uh, continue shopping. Let's get this done. That's another thing about these big box stores. Sometimes what the image shows on the app might not be what they actually have in stock. Uh, a lot of times they rotate this stuff out so quick, it's... Um, kind of get it when you see it because the next day you come here that bag of carrots might be by a whole new manufacturer but as long as it's petite carrots and it's organic customers should be okay but you can always text them to be sure up to you game that's the second order that I started shopping without sending the customer my hello I'm here to shop for you message what is up with me as long as you do it before the order is over you should be okay um, most of the stuff they seem to have anyway so we should be fine do they have any disinfecting wipes in the store that's a good question. Guess we'll have to find out together. No, you're welcome. <laughs> this is your food. Just kidding. It doesn't hurt to ask the customer for a little help. I mean, because after all, you're shopping for them, and if they know where it is and you don't, and if the staff is not around or don't want to help, the customer can point you the right direction. So I thought this pizza was in the frozen section and it's actually over here by the deli. So I was able to swing back around and get it for them and we can keep it moving. By far the best cereal ever. <laughs> oh, and the peanut butter crunch, not that one. But we're looking for Kellogg's. I found you. Why do you eat apple jacks if they don't taste like apples? So freaking random. <laughs> In turn, that completes our little shop. I just gotta go check the disinfectant area to see if they have any wipes, <laughs> which they more than likely won't. But let's pray for the customer that this time they actually have some positivity. They're gonna have some. They're gonna have some. They're gonna have some. They're gonna have some. Looks like they're not gonna have some. Oh well, better luck next time. 
empty. Just send a customer the message, letting them know the wipes are a distant memory of itself. Nothing but a former memory of what they used to be. So we're heading to the checkout. See, never hurts to be a little personable. You don't have to be an Instacart shopping robot. <laughs> Live a little. Just don't cross the line. Engage your shoppers. Some people don't want to laugh. Some people just want you to get in and get out and don't text them at all. All right, that customer has their groceries and I'm trying to cross through the most dangerous intersection I think I've seen in quite a while. <laughs> can't see around that bush and you can't really see around there. And they came flying around the corners like jackrabbits. Good thing is, I made it out. I'm at another red light and uh, gonna head back down closer to my zone and we'll see what else we can get into today. All right, watchers, I just pulled over here to, uh, for one, calculate where I am for today to see how much more I need to be out here today. Um, and to two, I think this might be a really cool spot to shoot my um, 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 my art piece. So um, I might do that real quick and then get back on the road. That actually is perfect. Let's set them up correctly and we'll get some shots. productive productive day i this is actually what is this a hotel so i just randomly pull into the parking lot looked over to the right found a nice little grassy area and it fit the character perfectly so with that said that's out the way now we can just focus on making money can we get 200 dollars today guys or at least close enough to it i don't know i'm gonna put my head down and grind if i do any other app you guys will be following me along the journey but let's get to work so i said i was gonna come back in when i got a another uh app but i'm not i went back into instacart and god bless again like there's a sam's club order sam's club is like right across the highway over here from this uh hotel four items is all i gotta go get and i think it was like 18 bucks and it was six miles away to drop it off from the customer can you say score <laughs> can you say score let's go there it is sam's club looks like most of the stuff is going to be in the healthcare section well we got the the beverage so all right let's go back again sam's back again now observe Chikorita right here. Just walking out in front of everybody. Didn't look both ways before crossing the street. Just taking it upon herself to think that <laughs> she won't get ran over. Luckily, we were paying attention because um, if we weren't, I tell you, these veterinarians, I know, pedestrians, they would have um, would have been some instant speed bumps. Sam's and Costco, y'all are really taking care of me today. Keep it up keep it up all right guys made it back to the car so this is a very interesting one here uh let's see if i can get a screen recording going so you guys can follow along with me this is one of the ones where you really got to pay attention to the product and not so much what the app has so now here in the personal section it says found members uh fruit snacks that's not like i thought they were like those gummy vitamins this is just regular <laughs> uh, fruit snacks that are in the snack section. So I was gonna mark it as, you know, not found. I said, let me go check the snack section. And sure enough, there's a crate of those things sitting there. Another thing too, um, when the members don't reply, I mean, that's all you can do. When I, as you guys can see, from the time I got there, I'm like, hey, they're out of vitamin water. Send her a few pictures of the things they do have. Want me to sub? I even went into the whole gummy thing until I found them. And I'm like, hey, sorry we couldn't connect, so I'm gonna go ahead and just bow out gracefully. Uh, what more can you do? I mean, at that point, really nothing, huh? I even tried my little contact trick, uh, which I do sometimes. I know a lot of us don't wanna talk to the customer because it feels kind of weird. And I'm sure the customers sometimes don't wanna talk to us. They're like, can you just send me a text message? What's going on? What I normally do is that option where it says uh, where you can, um, Make sure I get around here really quickly, safely. All right, so the option where it says you can um, text a customer, call a customer. I normally say call a customer, and you know, you gotta press one for uh, Instacart to initiate the whole phone number scrambling sequence. And I'll let the phone ring maybe like once or twice, and then I'll hang up. <laughs> that's just enough time to alert the customer to their phone. And more often times than not, that's all it takes for them to say, oh my God, I'm sorry, I just saw your text message and your incoming calls. And then they start going through the list of things that I've sent them and start replying to mark stuff off or to sub stuff. That normally works, but I don't know, maybe this person just sleep. Who knows? We old introverts, we don't like a lot of human interaction, even if it's over the phone, especially with strangers, especially with strangers. I know it's weird, I know it's weird, but uh, I've done that with friends and family too, so. Uh, Sometimes it works. Give it a try. <laughs> just about winding the night down, heading to drop off this Costco order that I just picked up. Again, very, very small item. I think it was like 
six items and it's 20 something dollar payout i'm only jumping on here because i was going to just like cut to the end at this but something i brought up and i just want to get your guys opinion what do you guys do to keep frozen stuff frozen i find out even if you have the bags with you like that stuff just don't seem to stay like frozen frozen as you guys know costco doesn't have bags so you're kind of just putting everything in boxes rarely do i see anybody take like a a thermal bag into Costco they kind of just go in there and just shop freely frozen stuff from the time you pull it out of the freezer and you just kind of walk a few feet to the to the checkout line right that sunlight was intense the cardboard box is already start to wilt like it's you know all is already starting to get mushy like stuff thaws out fast granted too we are in Texas so as soon as I take it outside the clock is on and this person lives I think about 20 minutes away so it's like um what I told him is like, I have all your cold stuff grouped together. This is like, I'm thinking this is the best I can really do. I mean, I'm only coming here for four items. This is kind of really an in and out thing. The hardest part is transporting it and keeping it that way. You know, I have, like I said, I have thermal bags in the back. So I kind of put everything together and got the AC cranked. So um, hopefully we can uh, satisfy this person. But they said the last time they got something from Costco or, you know, delivered, half the stuff was thawed out so they had to throw a lot of it away and that sucks i do feel for them on that but um i think we have to to kind of understand the circumstance you're 20 minutes away hopefully the person has a thermal bag and as soon as they drop it off it needs to immediately go into the freezer because just standing out here i'm melting <laughs> so i know a box of like waffles or vegan patties are gonna melt you guys think like how do you guarantee it gets from the store as ice and arrives to the customer door as ice let me know customers let's talk to you too uh do you get stuff from costco and sam's that are already cooked <laughs> when they drop it out on your door like i said i live in texas it's 104 degrees right now so like i had somebody who actually had, or had got some uh frozen uh m&m ice cream sandwiches i know it's hot and you want something nice and cold but we also got to understand the circumstances like it's hot out here so i would be interested to see customers how has your frozen stuff arrived has it arrived frozen one thing i say that just never really survives whether i've taken my thermal bag in or not is ice cream the little things of ice cream by the time i pull it out of the thermal bag and put it up on the register it goes through the register and i'm checking out i'm already squishing the squishing the container like ice cream just has the worst time ice cream frozen box of pizza the box the pizza box is already like mush like a, it's almost like a sponge so. oh don't get me started on like boxes of waffles like that just he pull out of freezer and it just falls apart so um just let me know guys and just another thing i would be very interested to know since we're speaking to not only the drivers but the customer customers how many customers before this happened all you know before this whole lock you in your house and don't come out unless you're brave enough happened um actually went to the store and shop with their own thermal bags. How many customers actually have thermal bags? This isn't a comment of like picking fun. I'm just trying to see. If you went to the store without thermal bags and saw how your groceries came, then you kind of knew what's gonna happen <laughs> um, if you have some shopper doing it. And I say this because I know a lot of people will be like, well, you are required by Instacart to have this and the third yes that is very very true but when that outbreak thing happened instacart let a lot of people slide through the cracks without those strenuous <laughs> requirements so a lot of people were just out there shopping and they had no thermal bags uh, at that point people were just having to get the groceries they could care less if their ice cream came in the form of milk you know what i'm saying they just needed something to eat and something to slurp on so again i'm just wondering how many people customers have their own thermal bags let me know don't come after me i got my thermal bags you know what i mean i got mine i'm just asking hopefully i was able to capture enough for that so i can show you guys on the screen but just in case i didn't um as i got here i took a picture from my trunk showing my open bag that i put all his cold stuff in there because as you guys know if you're shopping at sam's or costco you're gonna have to transfer it to a box so that's pretty much what i told him i was like had your stuff in the bag all the way here, transferring it to a box on my way to your door right now. And that was pretty much it. Got to the door, snap, snap. Um, walked off. As soon as I walked off, he 
snatched his food in real quick. The kind of people I love because they know they got cold stuff, like don't delay, have a good day, sir, thank you. End of transaction. So uh, we're gonna see what we are at for tonight. Right now it is 7.10, I think the whole grocery store thing is dying down, so we might have to go into the uh, restaurants, but will we make 200? You gotta have to stay tuned and find out. It is 8.02, normally I try to wrap this up about uh, seven o'clock but tonight i'm gonna stay here a little bit longer i want to make sure i get as much money as i can to get as close to 200 if not hit 200 before i head home plus there's still daylight i'm not tired why not just go ahead and keep grinding sad thing about it is uh instacart's kind of died down which is kind of expected because most grocery stores um seem to cut off at eight at least the orders do but the grocery stores now are staying up to 10 so i don't know what that's about but i've i had uber and grubhub both running and still nothing and it's a friday and both maps are really really hot so where the orders at though nice pretty map but where the orders at we have made it to the end i am home 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 today was pretty eventful um i have to say above all else it was very productive i actually got to go outside shoot some of my artwork and on top of that make some money as we pretty much saw throughout this video instacart was an app that i primarily work just grabbing a handful of things for around 15 to 20 dollars per order can't be mad at that actually today was probably one of the easier days because i didn't have to do too many too much texting with the customer there wasn't a lot of heavy stuff to carry and i didn't have to spend a ton of time in the store just very simple in and out in and out uh with some really short distances for most of them uh before uh, the night closed, I did try to do Uber Eats and Grubhub. Grubhub sent me nothing, <laughs> nothing at all. Like, I don't know, maybe Grubhub is on that Uber kick where they're mad when you do other apps, but Grubhub sent me nothing. Uber sent me a Buffalo Wild Wings where I waited 15 minutes, nothing ever came up, canceled it, left. Then went to Brooklyn Pies, got sneak attack with a double order, had to wait there for about 10 minutes, and then I finally got that picked up and dropped off to the two customers. So we'll see if they gave us a tip. But uh, in that last hour where I was hoping to make a pretty decent amount of change, I don't know, I don't know, it just wasn't hitting it. So Uber and Grubhub, they're pretty ticked off right now. Hopefully, tomorrow, we'll be back on speaking terms because tonight, just wasn't it let's see where we are guys did we get close to 200 or did we even or did we make 200 i don't know but let's find out Alrighty, we're getting the good old stream recording going so you guys can follow along at home <laughs> we're gonna start with uber eats let's see what uber did for us today they gave me two orders uh and we'll see what we got here so we actually end up getting 15 dollars from those two orders that's not bad that's not bad at all uh so it looks like both customers did tip so it was worth doing it i don't know like the map was so intense and uber was giving me nothing i even tried in between doing instacart today to turn on uber and uh, what's his face uh <laughs> grubhub and got nothing from either of them so yeah they both customers tipped uh looks like the tip totaled out to be about eight bucks so um i thank you guys for that i thank you so much for that uh so let me go ahead and send a little thanks for the tip uh let's move on uber tomorrow you better be good to me tomorrow's saturday so I was expecting Uber to be so much more busy, at least for me. I could, I was expecting to come in and kill it for the end of the night, but um, hey, what can you do? We're gonna go to Instacart. That's the only other app we work. Earnings, what did we do today? 135.79. I can't say that I'm actually happy about that. I was expecting at least 160. Well, maybe if I add those other ones. Well, I'll add it up. I don't know, maybe I'll be surprised, <laughs> but I wanted to be closer to 200 than this. K.O. You lose. But uh, hey, you know, tomorrow's another day. And like I said, not only did I go out and make some money, I actually got to do some art. Uh, let's see, I started my day today at 11. I actually, some I try to turn this thing off at seven. For one, I don't have the best vision at night and um, it'd be dark as duck on some of those streets and some people don't know how to turn their street lights on to guide you to their home. So um, Instacart says I was online for about seven hours and uh, I think Uber, I was online for one hour. So my eight hour day, totaled out to this. Like I said, I haven't calculated it, but we'll put it here. And I just started. Uh, I was off for the whole week. <laughs> I just started. So my week starts on Friday, so there is no grand weekly total to give you guys. But I wasn't satisfied with that, so I even went and tried to do some user testing. I had like six pages on the computer and like 12 tests to do on the phone. Nothing. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. So sometimes, 
sometimes it just doesn't work in your favor. But just because you have one bad off day doesn't mean you're not gonna have some good days. But so I'm very hopeful Saturday, which is tomorrow, I should be able to get at least $200, if not more. I'm gonna wake up a little bit earlier, grind it out, and we'll see what happens. So in conjunction, I'm kind of glad that happened so you guys can see not everything is candy and rainbows. Sometimes you will have some off days. And today, I would consider one of my off days because I at least in one of those main apps like the C160 and then anything else from a, another app just kind of adds to the pot. I am very grateful. Don't think I'm not grateful, but um, I know I can grind a little bit harder. So for you guys, I wanted to say thank you for coming along with me. For those of you who have showed interest in my art, again, these are my art pages. Feel free to check them out. Do follow me and DM me on those pages if you guys just want to talk and connect. But understand, guys, I'm very busy, so I can't reach everybody, but I'll definitely try. If you are new to this channel, as I said in the beginning, it is time. It is that time, guys, for you to reach down there and hit that red subscribe button. And while you're next to it, hit that notification bell. So when I make another video, you can be here to watch it along with the rest of us. I have been trying to do a lot more of the premiere videos where I set a premiere date and 30 minutes before the thing starts, I'm on there chatting with you guys. I sometimes stay there and watch the whole video again. You know, just hang out with you guys, get to know you guys, and we just chill. It's been a very fun experience and I definitely want to do more so i'm gonna sign off for tonight try to edit this video get it up to you before christmas because you guys know how bad i am about putting videos up especially videos in chronological order <laughs> but as i said you guys just want to see content anyway so if you made it this far please go down to the comment section and tell me what you guys like about this video what you guys like about this channel and what you guys want to see more of until then guys i will catch you on the next ride take care peace